Welcome or welcome back to the vlogs. I actually attempted to vlog last week, but it was so cold in New York City that I barely left my apartment. So unclear if I'm gonna post that vlog or not. So this may or may not be my first vlog back on YouTube. It is currently Tuesday and I had a very productive morning. I went and took Cressy for a long walk, went to Pilates, did some returns, got my nails done. Finally, they like desperately needed to be done. And then I came home, showered, and I needed to film a brand deal. So I just like got straight into that. And now it's about 2 p.m. And I still have a little bit of work to do. And then I actually have a really exciting week this week with events for work. So I thought it'd be perfect to try to vlog this week. I have an event tonight with Kristen S, which is honestly one of my all time favorite hair brands. I went on a brand trip with them last year. So I've like met the team and stuff and I absolutely love their products. So they're having an event tonight and it's hosted by Madison LaCroix. I feel like that's wrong. I don't think that that's her last name, but it's Madison from Southern Charm. And I'm actually a massive Bravo girly, but I do not watch Southern Charm. But I just started following her on TikTok and she's actually really funny. So I'm excited to potentially meet her tonight. And I know I have a lot of friends going tonight. So that should be fun. We just appreciate the outfit right now. <laughs> this is so like content creator core wearing a normal top and then sweatpants. I wear these sweatpants like at least once a week. They're so comfortable. And Crust has destroyed yet another one of his toys. So I need to whip out the vacuum. Crust, what do you have to say for yourself? Hmm, are you being a good boy or are you being a bad boy? Hmm, oh my God, he's so cute. Okay, living in New York City, something I love to do is order my groceries instead of like going to the store every single time because it's just like honestly a hassle and like I get free Instacart with my credit card so like why would i not utilize that so most of the time i get my groceries delivered and i'll go to i'll actually go to the store like maybe like once a month because it is fun to like go to the grocery store but anyways the point of me telling you that is because when i order my groceries is when i like to look for like fun drinks and something that i'm very into right now is finding like fun like low calorie just something to drink other than water because i'm such like a water girl like i will chug water and water and water but i do like having like a little fun drink that's not like too bad for you so i'm really into like olipop and poppy right now but olipop i think this is like a newer flavor cherry cola because this is the first time i've seen it and so we're gonna do a little taste test because i love cherry cola if this is good like i'm about to be the happiest person on the planet okay cheers Hmm. Let me let me do a second test. Definitely does not taste like real cherry coke, but I mean it's pretty good. I love anything cherry, so it's a yes for me. I have about 30 minutes until I need to leave for my event. So I already obviously am wearing makeup from earlier today. So I'll just show you how I take my makeup from like day to night. And what I do to kind of just like touch it up. I swear it like looks worse in the camera than it's looking in my mirror right now. And that's stressing me out. Um, I also literally broke my makeup mirror. So I'm like, things are not going great over here. I am very oily. So I fully stay away from like layering on cream products on top of powder products. I know some other people do that. So I just take like a powder foundation and we'll use that to like reset my face. And then it also adds a little bit of coverage. Krusty, every time I'm sitting in this chair, he decides it's time to squeak his toys. I basically just like reset the center of my face. And like if I have any pimples that are popping through, this does a really good job at covering them too. So we'll just kind of reset. 
nice. And then I always redo my blush, my powder blush. I'm actually addicted to these hourglass ones. <laughs> They're so nice. I also pop a little bit of the blush on my forehead because I feel like it just like ties it together well. And my eye makeup is honestly like looks pretty good for nighttime. Um, it's simple, but I, I'm happy with it. But I am going to pop on some lashes. I'm going to cut this Ardell Wispy in half. And I literally just cut it right down the middle. And then I'm going to use them as like half lashes. I'm going to take this Seamless Bond and seal. It's basically the same thing as Falscara. I'm going to take the bond and just put a tiny bit like literally just at the base of my lashes on the outer half. It really like does not take much of this stuff. Then I take my half lash and just literally pop it on and it sticks perfectly. And there you go. It literally takes two seconds. It's like the best hack ever. Okay, now I need to fix my freaking lipstick. Okay, let's do Pat McGrath Contour. This is like one of my all time favorite shades and formulas. It's so good. It just like glides on. God, I love lip liner. I wish I could find like a brown lip stain. Like this color of a lip stain would be my dream product. And then I actually think I'm going to use MAC Honey Love, which I haven't used in a long time. But it's like a really pretty like peachy nude. This is actually like my favorite gloss of all time. This is from Essence. It's their Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. I don't know what the shade is, but it looks like this. I'm just going to put that on. God, my front chemical bangs are actually going to be the death of me. Like truly. I also feel like I don't have my camera settings on a good setting because I'm not like in focus the whole time. So sorry about that. I need to like do some Googling, but actually maybe my hair looks okay already. I'm excited for tonight, honestly. I know a few people going. So that's always fun. Like when you know who's going ahead of time, just because like literally 99% of the time when I go to these influencer events, I have no idea who's going to be there. And a lot of the time I end up like running into someone that I know, but sometimes you like don't know anyone. So you kind of have to like make friends on the spot, which is fine. I'm like a pretty outgoing person, so that doesn't bother me, but it is nice when you know someone that's going ahead of time. <laughs> Let's get dressed. Um, yeah, so this just happened. I'm honestly not surprised at all. Like this is 100% my fault. This rack is an actual piece of shit and I <laughs> have like all my heaviest coats and sweaters on here. So it's just bad on my end. But like what? I literally need to leave in like five minutes. This is how we're going to leave it. I managed to get it back up, but that was so heavy. Like literally so heavy. I thought I was going to die for a second. I thought it was going to crush me. Um, so we had to take off like most of the clothes, but anyways, this is my outfit. This blazer dress is the brand Bardo and I'm actually renting it from Rent the Runway. Um, I'm testing out their monthly subscription and I really like it. Um, so I'm happy that I have an occasion to wear this. It's like a cocktail type party. So I feel like this will be perfect and like very comfortable. And then I just have black sheer text tights on and my tall Vince Camuto black boots. And then for the jewelry, I just kept it simple with like these little silver earrings because I feel like with the rosette, it would be a lot with big earrings. And then just my normal mixed metal jewelry. And then I think I'm going to do this silver bag that I got off Source Unknown like a while ago, but it's just like really comes in handy. I feel like it like dresses up an outfit and like gives it something special. So I love wearing this. Last night was so much fun. The event was with Kristen S and it was, it was like honestly such a good event. Events can be like very hit or miss, but I feel like that one was a really good one. I saw a bunch of my friends and there, I'm like a big Bravo girly and there was 
quite a few Bravo people there. Like Melissa Gorga and Joe Gorga were there. And I was like, no way. Like I was honestly fangirling. And then I ended up going out to dinner with my friend Julia. And then um, we met up with a new friend named Jackie. So that was fun. Got home kind of late though. And I woke up this morning and I have the worst cramps ever i used to never get cramps when i was younger and then now as an adult like recently in the past like year ish i get the worst cramps like i actually want to die right now i made myself breakfast i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to eat it and i also burned the shit out of the bottom of it so things are going well i have another event tonight but i don't really have much else planned the day so i'm probably just gonna like clean take it easy for the morning because i actually feel like i want to die right now okay so i took the opportunity to clean off this clothing rack and also my front closet up there that has some of my coats and some of my coats were on here so i just cleaned this whole thing out and i'm getting rid of a bunch of my sweaters and jackets that i just don't wear that were taking up a ton of space it's really hard for me to get rid of jackets because i feel like they're honestly like kind of timeless somewhat and they're expensive and so i never want to get rid of them but like i haven't worn any of these jackets since i first moved to new york so i'm like whatever and like i have a new leather jacket like i don't need this one i don't I'm literally getting rid of four leather jackets. Like I don't need four leather jackets, more leather jackets in here. Like I don't need 10 leather jackets. So anyways, I'm getting rid of all of these. And I've also been getting a bunch of emails about like New York city coat drives and all this stuff. So I found one that will actually come and pick up clothing donations. So I just scheduled that and they're coming on Monday, um, which is perfect because I also have three bags of clothes here that I need to get rid of. So we're just getting rid of a bunch of shit. I like constantly say whenever I'm getting rid of clothes, like, oh, I'm gonna sell this, oh, I'm gonna sell this. Like that's what those three bags over there are. They have literally been sitting in my closet for months. I'm like, I'm never gonna go sell it. I'm not gonna go through the effort of putting it on Poshmark, which I should, because I have good stuff to sell. But the truth of the matter is like, I'm just simply, not gonna do it like i'm just not so like why not just donate it like i don't need to make a hundred dollars off of clothing you know like not right now it's just not worth it so i'm just gonna donate it like it's winter in new york people are freezing i don't need to sell my fucking clothes i'll just give them to people you know so what if i'm missing out on a few hundred dollars i don't care i simply don't care just opened some PR that I got um, from downstairs. L'Occitane sent me their new artichoke line, which is like <laughs> an interesting concept. This is a body scrub, and then this is the body cream that matches it. And then they sent this gua sha, and it's supposed to be like a firming and smoothing line for your body. So it's supposed to be good for like cellulite and stuff like that. So I love body products, especially in the winter. I like literally douse my body in like lotions and body oils non-stop during the winter so i will definitely be keeping these in my bathroom immediately and then i have this big box of new stuff from Kerastase. i'm partnering with them again which is honestly like such a dream when you get as an influencer when you get a partnership that is like genuinely so organic like i am honestly the biggest Kerastase fan ever and i have been since i launched the brand at Sephora like I worked on the brand launch at Sephora and I just like genuinely love their products so so much and so to be able to work with them like I've worked with them twice now in the past few months and like it's been a very successful partnership because it's just so like organic and genuine so it's just like so exciting that I get to work with Kerasauce because it's literally like my favorite brand ever this box I don't know if I can show you the products like I don't know if they're launched yet but I'm working with them on some content for February so they sent me all the new products and I'm so excited to try. I'm getting ready for my event now and I do not feel like going at all. I hate when this happens to me. It's normally when I like spend the whole day and I like don't get ready and I'm just like in my apartment all day. Then when I have an event at night, I like never wanna go, but 
I'm obviously still gonna go. <laughs> I am just like so unmotivated and my cramps are actually on another level. Like, I don't even know how I'm doing my makeup right now. I'm doing a very half-assed job. We're gonna do the bare minimum right now. But I'm excited for this event tonight because it's with Glow Recipe. I have not met anyone on the Glow Recipe team, actually. I think the last time they had an event in New York, I wanna say I was out of town. I swear, every single time I go out of town, there's like a million events and I'm like, of course they're all happening when I'm gone. But then again, I'm always gone, so. What are you gonna do? If you're an influencer in New York, you could honestly go to an event every single night of the week if you wanted to. Like there is constantly events happening and like things you could be going to. And I usually say yes to a lot of things, but recently I've kind of been a little pickier with like what I say yes to, just because I really don't need to go to everything. Like not, the brands are not expecting you to go to every single, Thing that you're ever invited to like people have lives you can't make every single thing you're invited to i've been trying to do like a max of like two events per week because more than that it's like this week i have events three nights in a row and that's like a lot because normally when i'm there i'll like maybe have a drink or it's just like a lot of socializing and they're usually at night so it's like i'm out late like i don't get home until like nine or ten and then it's just kind of like throws off my whole routine when i go to a lot of events in the same week so i try to pick and choose more wisely these days i would say but i do love going to events and it's fun to like socialize because especially because i live alone it's nice to like get out and like see other people you know i have quite literally zero clue what i'm gonna wear tonight i do have this black jumpsuit that i also got from rent the runway <laughs> But I never tried it on, so I'm honestly not sure if it fits. It looks like it will fit, but with a jumpsuit, it's always a little tricky because I'm 5'10". So a lot of the time they're not like long enough. Like they fit fine, but the legs are just too short and they look stupid. So I'm hoping that this one is long. So we'll see. Okay, I finished getting ready. Um, I just threw my hair in this little half up half down because it's so flippy i didn't want to straighten it and the top was honestly kind of dirty i'm gonna put it in a bun tomorrow anyway so i feel like it actually like turned out cute i'm wearing my heaven mayhem mayhem i don't know why i always say that so weird heaven mayhem earrings and then this um jumpsuit from rent the runway i forget what the brand is called but yeah it's just a plain black jumpsuit and you know what, it's a little short, but we're gonna make it work because I don't wanna think about doing another outfit. And then I'm also gonna wear just this big oversized leather bomber jacket because it's it's still pretty cold in New York, but I'm literally taking an Uber, so I'm not even gonna be outside. And this just looks the best with it, other than like a big ass coat. So this is what we're wearing. Hello, okay, so it is Thursday and I went to Pilates this morning and I thought I was going to die because of my period cramps. I literally had to leave the class early. I've never done that before and I just like don't understand what's going on like I've never felt like that in my life like I literally thought I was gonna throw up so I left my Pilates class early came back took a shower climbed into bed <laughs> like literally my bed is still unmade but I'm feeling a lot better I finally got ready I'm actually going to meet a brand for lunch I'm meeting someone on their marketing team I'm just going somewhere in West Village so it's just a quick walk from here quick little like coffee lunch date so that should be fun okay ignore the mess that's happening behind me but this is what i'm wearing just this like cropped white long sleeve t-shirt these black trousers and this gold belt and i think i'm just gonna wear my like plain black leather jacket over this because it's actually like 50 degrees in new york today thank god so it's not very cold so we're stoked about that a slick bun because it is oiling day so i have my oils in put it in a bun these Amazon earrings, and yeah, let's go to lunch. 
Also, random side note, I saw Katie Fawn post about these hand socks like a million times. And you know when someone's like really passionate about something, you're like, okay, like I gotta give in. I've heard her talk about these socks like a million times. So I finally got them on Amazon and they took a while to come in, but they are the best socks ever. Like they're so cushiony and like on the listing on Amazon, it honestly does not look very compelling. Like they don't look that great in the picture, but they're the perfect height um, and they're so soft and cushiony. Like I'm literally gonna buy five more packs and like replace all of my socks. I'm not even kidding. So shout out Katie Fawn. I've been back from lunch for quite a while. I've just been doing some stuff on my computer and a lot of like personal finance stuff. Like I had to like do all my credit cards. I was like working on my expenses. So it is now dinner time and I was supposed to be going to an event tonight with peace out acne but honestly i just after going to events the past two nights and like getting home late and whatever just like being out the last two nights and then going to lunch today with a brand everything that happened with my cramps situation like i just feel like i have stuff that i need to get done here so i'm just gonna skip the event tonight i'm like sad because i would like to go to it but i'm just gonna sometimes you can't do everything you know so i'm just gonna skip it us. It's almost your dinner time. Actually, it probably is your dinner time. He's like, Mom, it's time. Okay, one second, baby. When I was getting groceries this week, I didn't get really anything for dinners because I knew I was going to events every night. And like, I usually just eat like, on Tuesday, I went out to dinner. Last night, I just had like the small bites at the event. So I just like didn't really get anything for dinner. So... Tonight, I just ordered myself my favorite salad ever. It's so good. It's from 12 Chairs Cafe in New York. It's in like Greenwich Village, so it's really close to me. It's a Greek salad. It's literally the best Greek salad ever. One thing about me is that I'm addicted to Greek food. Like I could literally eat it for every single meal of every day, and I basically do. But then they have this like chicken snitch schnitzel, schnitzel. I don't know how to say it, but it's just like lightly breaded chicken and I'm like really weird about chicken But this is like so thin that it's amazing. I don't think it's like necessarily the healthiest Chicken because it's breaded, but it's so good and then like with the Greek salad it is Literally I could eat this every single day of my life. I wish I could so yeah oh, That's what we're doing <music> genuinely look like a hot ass mess but even though i don't look like it i'm actually freshly showered and clean this morning i was having weird battery issues with my camera like my battery would not charge and then when i would put it in my camera it would say that it was charged and then it would die like two seconds later but i finally figured it out and it seems to be better now but anyways this morning i just went to pilates as usual and then i did a deep clean of my apartment i like did all my laundry changed my sheets vacuumed mopped like wiped everything like my apartment is spotless now so i'm feeling great and then i took an everything shower and i'm probably gonna go put some tan on right now we'll see actually i haven't decided if i'm gonna go out tonight or not like i don't know what my plan is for tonight i'm always so torn on fridays because part of me is like oh i've spent most of the week in my apartment but this week specifically, like I went out two nights this week, so I don't feel as like cooped up as I normally do. So I don't know. I'm not like seeking out plans, but if plans find me, I may be open to them. I desperately need to do my hair. Like I'm telling you, when I let it air dry, it is just like not okay. Not okay. That needs to go back up. Also this is a scar um i got a really bad pimple there like literally probably over three months ago and it just the scar will not go away and it's the bane of my existence it's not like an active pimple it's actually driving me insane so when you see this in the vlog it's a scar and i don't know what to do about it 
I honestly need to like find an esthetician or like a dermatologist and see what they think and see if there's anything I can do about this. Like I might need to do a laser or something, but that has got to go. Like I'm not living with that for my whole life. Okay, I'm really excited because my friend Corinne, who is also an influencer, she was like my first influencer friend when I moved to New York and she messaged me like right when I moved here and we went and got like lunch or coffee or something and she was like oh I wanted to meet you because like I know you're starting your own brand and like I'm also working on my own starting my own brand and so like immediately we like bonded over both of us like starting our own brands being entrepreneurs and whatever that was like two years ago and so she finally just launched her brand and it is a mocktail brand she does not drink which i feel like there's lots of like sober curiosity going on right now in 2024 like people are just drinking less which i think is great and so her brand she called it she named it done d u n and it's drinks for when you're done drinking she wrote me a little note. Kelsey, my love, thank you so much for your order. The support means more than you know. Whenever you need a restock, just text. Can't wait to hear what you think. Pop your mocktails in the fridge overnight before trying. Coffee date soon. Love you, Corinne. And like, she was gonna send me some, but I was like, no. Like, you've been talking about this brand for two years. Like, I'm gonna order some mocktails. Anyway, so my order just got here because I ordered a bunch. So she made a spicy mango margarita, which is right up my alley and i'm like even though i still do love to enjoy like a regular good old cocktail with some tequila in it when i'm like home on a weekday i would love to have just a spicy mango margarita without alcohol in it because i like to drink alcohol when i'm like out with people like socializing but i literally never ever drink by myself like i have a whole bar cart over here I that's the same alcohol that's been on there for like years like I literally never drink at home when I buy myself So anyways, I never drink Alcohol when I'm alone is the point. So she made a spicy mango margarita and a pina colada flavor. Oh my god. I'm so excited to try these and They're only 30 calories, which I feel like is insane like a low cal spicy mango margarita with no alcohol in it for like a weekday or like on the weekend like if i'm gonna stay in tonight like i will be drinking one of these they're honestly kind of cold from like probably the weather oh my god you were so sleepy all day now you want to be loud i'm so proud of her this the branding the everything like i'm so proud of her this is so cool and like the name is just so genius i love it the packaging, so chic. Corinne, you are a rock star. Oh my God. I cannot wait to try these. I'm gonna put them in the fridge right now so that I can have one soon. Crust has got the zoomies. He's being so cute today. I am so obsessed with him, it's actually insane. I think it's been officially decided that I'm not gonna go out, so I just put some tan on my body, and now I need to put it on my face. And I've been doing it the way that I've been seeing on TikTok. I used to always just like put it all over my face, but when I have like breakouts and stuff, it doesn't like look that great because the tan really sticks to any sort of like blemish or anything. So what I've been doing is I just put a, like a tiny little pump in the cap and then I take like a big fluffy brush like this and just get a little bit on there and then I literally apply it as if I'm putting on like bronzer or contour and like it looks really crazy when you do it but then when you rinse it off it looks so good. I forgot to mention that I do put moisturizer on under this just because it's the winter and my skin is kind of dry. So I also take it in my eyelid and down the sides of my nose. Okay, it looks really crazy on camera. I swear it does not look that crazy in real life. Well, it does a little bit, but whatever. So I think I want to start a new show tonight. I 
started the morning show last week. Turns out that I only had season three to watch and I powered through that shit so fast. Like, I watched it in just a couple days. But I just saw a TikTok about this show called, now I'm blanking, Normal People on Hulu. So I think I'm gonna start that. I don't know, it looked cute. And like, I hate picking out a show. So I was like scrolling on TikTok and I'm like, the fact that that just popped up when I was literally thinking like, oh, I wanna start a new show tonight. I'm just gonna take that as a sign. And that's what I'm gonna watch. So let's go. Oh, I'm gonna pop open a mocktail. Let's do that. Also, these are the best fake tan pajamas ever. They are exactly like the Everjay pajamas that are like 120 or $130. And these are like $20 on Amazon and they are so soft and literally the best pajamas ever. And I just love the black ones because they're nice and loose and like lightweight so they don't make you hot. And then they're the best thing to wear when you have fake tan on. Like I wear these during the summer. I wear them all the time. We're definitely gonna do the spicy mango marg. The do a little taste test. I also got a little glass just because it hasn't been in the fridge for that long, but we're gonna drink it out of the can first. So it's slightly sparkling, it says. Yum. Wait. Oh my god, this is so good. Wait. Oh my god, this is literally so good. I mean, it definitely is like very mango-y and it's a little bit spicy. Not too spicy, but it has a nice little kick to it, which is like the perfect amount of kick for a margarita. Oh my god, look at that color. It literally looks like a margarita. Wait, this is so fun. I'm literally having like a margarita at home, minus alcohol. And I like that it's a little fizzy. Like it adds a nice touch to it. Corinne, you killed it. Mm. So we have had a bit of an interesting morning in this household. Krusty seems to be a bit sick. He's having some stomach issues, if you know what I mean. I was planning on like going out today, going shopping, like running some errands, just kind of like bopping around, but that is not going to happen. I would just feel really bad like leaving him in his crate. He seems to be doing better the past few hours. We haven't had an accident in a few hours, so hopefully whatever was happening has passed. Um, I've been messaging his vet um, they have like an app where you can message them like 24 hours a day and just like for free get advice on like if you should bring them in or not. They said he should be fine as long as it doesn't go on for more than like just today. So I'm just going to keep an eye on him. Stay home. We've just been chilling. I am actually editing this YouTube video and last week's vlog. I wasn't going to post last week's vlog because I was like, oh, it's kind of boring. But now that I'm editing it, it actually is like fine like it's not the most exciting vlog in the world but it's fine and I think I'm gonna post it in addition to posting this one so they'll just like go live at the same time and then there'll be two videos live when I like return to YouTube so I figured that was probably good than just having like one video our little crusty crust he's sick his tummy hurts so we're just hanging out at home today which I mean what are you gonna do I did like really want to get out of the apartment. So hopefully um, he's better by later today and we'll see if I like feel comfortable enough to like leave him alone later tonight um, because I am supposed to go to a birthday party and I think I'm gonna like go to dinner and go out with one of my friends. So we'll see, stay tuned. Hello, you probably don't even recognize me because I've barely been wearing makeup this vlog but I just got ready now I need to pick my outfit. I'm going to a birthday party tonight, but I'm going to meet up with my friend first. We're gonna go to dinner, go out a bit, and then we're gonna head up to the birthday party. And the theme of the birthday party is all black or all white. So I'm obviously gonna do all black. 
Like, is that even a question? It's literally January. Okay. But I obviously have lots of options because I have tons of all black clothes. But I just found this set the other day when my clothing rack collapsed. Um, and I forgot that I bought it. It's this set from Mango. It's this little cami and then it has matching silk pants. It low-key kind of look like, looks like pajamas. But I think that can be cute. But I'm just now thinking. I don't think I have good shoes to go with that. So I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, I don't think I have any shoes. Because I think I need open-toed shoes for these type of pants. Because they have the lace at the bottom. Or like a pointed toe shoe. And the only pointed toe shoe that I have is silver metallic. And I just, I feel like I need a black solid pair of shoes for that. Crust is definitely feeling better. He's like playing with all his toys going crazy. So hopefully he's okay tonight. I feel bad leaving him, but... He hasn't had an accident since earlier this morning, so I feel like he's hopefully fine. And I have the dog camera, so if anything happens, um, I'm gonna just come home to my baby. Okay, let's look for more outfits. I think we've landed on this. Actually, pretty much everything is from Revolve, minus the tights and the boots are Vince Camuto, the same ones I was wearing the other day. Skirt is Revolve. This top is Spanx from Revolve, and it's definitely like a little hoochie. So this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna pair it with this oversized black blazer also from Revolve, because I feel like it kind of calms it down a little bit, but also the hoochie top like makes the blazer more casual, and the blazer makes the hoochie top less hoochie, if that makes sense. I feel like this is a good classic all black New York City going out outfit, so I'm happy with this. And then I'm just wearing my Bottega dupe silver earrings from Amazon. So now I'm ready really early, but I filmed my makeup for TikTok, so I want to edit and post that because I haven't posted anything on TikTok today um, because I have been editing away at the YouTube videos. So I'm excited to like get those up. I might try and post both of them tomorrow. We'll see. I haven't really figured that out yet, so. I don't know, but I'm excited for Saturday night in the city. I feel like this party will be really fun because I just said this on TikTok, but the party that I'm going to, let me sit down for this story. The party that I'm going to, the way that I know the birthday boy is him and I literally went on a date in the first like two weeks that I moved to New York. Like literally he was like, I'm pretty sure the first person I went on a date with. We had a great date. We ended up after our date randomly ended up at a fucking club it was a tuesday night we were literally out at the club like all night absolutely ridiculous for a first date we like get along really well but then we never went on a date ever again which was like fine but we've stayed friends like very odd friendship but we've stayed friends so we like see each other every few months i've run into him multiple times in the city which is bizarre because you don't really like run into people in New York City, but I've like run into him at bars and stuff. Like great guy, really fun. And I think that's why we ended up at the club on our first date is because both of us are very fun people. So I think we're just like, you know, fun friends. So anyways, it's his birthday and I'm just going with my friend Tyra and bringing her with me and we don't know anyone else there, but I love that type of scenario because I love like meeting new people. So I feel like it'll be fun, you know, get my mingle on. Hi vlog. Out and about on our New York life. <laughs> we're out and about on our New York life. Currently in a large black SUV. Yeah. We're so, in an Uber One. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's a membership. Uber One membership. Because Tyra's a bougie ass vetch. I'm impatient. <laughs> Where did we straight. start? We started at Loren? No, no, no. Where? The Ren. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but we started at Jackson Bond. Oh, and yeah. honestly, I have to say, like, Jackson Bond is a hot spot, I would say, right? No, it's like where the cool girlies go. Yeah, and like we were in there and it was fine, but like it's, it's not fun. And then yeah. we go to the Ren so fun oh my god the drinks so fun the cutie boys 
way cuter boys, way better vibes. And now we're on our way uptown, baby, <laughs> to have ourselves the night. It's literally 12. That's the perfect it's time. It's 12 to start 16, a night. and we're on the way uptown to have a night. So stay tuned, honey bunnies, because we will see if this makes it online or not. <laughs> Thank you.